just a couple of days ago, the heap of refuse here, coupled with the stench and sometimes the smoke it produces, continuously serve as a health threat to the people living in this community, particularly pupils of a number of schools that are around. Um, of course, uh, we were here to tell that story. The assembly swiftly responded by evacuating the refuse uh, around. Uh, today we are back here at the Jaco refuse site, not to tell that old story, but to engage residents on what they think needs to be done to ensure that we do not go back to that same story. In the first place, we like to say a very big thanks to them for listening to our plight and coming to our aid. But if you look at this, this isn't the first time this has been done. I think this is about the fifth time, if my memory will serve me right, that rubbish has been evacuated from here. But any time this is done, we get a repetition of what we saw just a few days ago. So having done this, I think the government should take steps in ensuring that this thing doesn't repeat because collecting or evacuating the rubbish itself is a waste of resources. Mary Suncho is a resident here. She wants the assembly to revisit the site and reclean it thoroughly to ensure that the community do not continuously dump on the floor. Osman is by the headmaster of Aswad Islamic Academy. He suggests that the containers need to be moved further, closer to the roadside. Plus, the assembly needs to regravel the place and uh, also establish a caretaker who would ensure that no resident would be dumping on the floor, even if the containers are full. If you look at it currently, you can see from behind where the um, the containers are. I think if they should move them somewhere close to the street and get someone who will be taking care of it so that any time it is full, the person will let the assembly to come for it. The place as we speak now has been termed as a refuse dump site. So obviously if anybody picks rubbish from the house, this is where he comes to or she comes to. So if they are coming and they see that there's someone here who is taking care of the thing and he doesn't allow anybody to dump the rubbish once it is full fine if they are going to even look for strategies or measures like the person will be available if you come and he has to charge you something take the rubbish down so that after the container has been emptied and a new one has come then he puts them inside i think we'll be able to manage it then if they could gravel here too for us so that we'll make here a playing ground for the students if you are playing here that will also save the place from the dump so once again the assembly has done its part the community has a role to play to ensure that this place is kept away from uh, being converted into what we saw uh, a couple of days ago. But the assembly, once it is in charge of uh, you know sanitation in the community, the people want the assembly to institute lasting measures so that we do not revisit that same page. From the Jaku Refuse site for Joy News, my name is Anas Sabit, reporting.